Hey everybody, welcome to the video. Welcome to the channel. Today we are back in the Hyundai 145 excavator loading out the GMC C8500 tandem axle dump truck. We are hauling out Chert Base Rock to the YouTube Yacht Road Project. Lots of good shots today and I'll certainly be explaining everything as we go. We also switched over to the John Deere 755 to help get the rock spread out. So we're starting right where we left off from the previous video. If you missed the previous video, be sure to go back to the playlist and check it out where we hauled the first few loads in. But we're starting right where we left off using the tandem axle dump truck to kind of dump this in here and spread it out. Now, I'm sure you got lots of questions about why I'm doing it the way I'm doing it, and I will explain that as we go. Like I mentioned in the previous video, a box blade or a road drag or a skid steer would be quite a bit easier or better way to spread the stone. But this is the ag tractor that I had available at the time to do this. So it's what we started using, but I will say I did end up switching to the John Deere 755 later on in the video and uh, you be the judge of it, but I think it worked a little bit better for me. So I have a few different shots like this throughout the video, but I want to show how hard this stuff packs down. Keep in mind, we're fully loaded at this point, back in into where we're dumping. And as we come around this corner, you're going to notice right there, there's a black mark that uh, we spun out on the way out earlier. So it packs hard enough that you can actually leave black marks with the tire. So that's pretty daggone good in my book. So I ended up getting the John Deere 755 out as well to help with this project. I've got the little pulverizer on back. I figured I kind of helped to keep the ruts tidied up as we keep backing in each time.
So if you look close on this load and actually all the loads after this point, I have my chain set on the gate. I'm not trying to back spread. This is not a good spot to back spread. Um, whenever you back spread, the top of your box tends to go back and forth quite a bit, and I'm pretty close to trees. It would save a little time if I could back spread here, but whatever time I would save, I would absolutely lose with the first tree that I snagged with that box bouncing back and forth. All I'm trying to do is just kind of break up my pile a little bit. That way I can bust these piles out with the 755. I ended up using the 755 instead of the Ag Tractor just because I'm way more familiar with that tractor and I can get the work done quite a bit quicker. Plus it's Hydrostat, plus it's just, I don't know, I absolutely love that tractor. If I was ever to replace it, it would be another 755. Maybe an 855, maybe a 955, but I guarantee you it would be that series of tractor. I absolutely love that thing. So we had some pretty nice weather today. I ended up getting the drone out and we're gonna get some drone shots loading this truck. But I wanna say one thing real quick while we're getting this truck loaded. Make sure you're staying tuned to Dirt Perfect's page. He's gonna do a series of videos on this Hyundai 145 that Rico Equipment sent down in a partnership with Hyundai. They sent it down to make some videos on it. And you guys know how Mike is. He's gonna be completely honest with you, the good or the bad, he's gonna tell you what's there. He took this to a variety of jobs from retaining wall jobs to excavation to clearing. I think today he's even doing a side-by-side -side comparison of the Volvo 140, and I mean filming today, so that video won't drop till late May, but I think the series of videos are dropping mid-May. I'm not 100% sure. Best way to find out, go to his channel and ask him in the comments. I'm sure he'd be more than happy to keep you in the loop in this. Also, make sure you guys go to Facebook and follow Hyundai Construction of America. They share lots of videos, not only from Dirt Perfect, but from other people that make content as well of their machines in use. So if you wanna see other people using their machines, be sure you're checking out their social media as well. We're gonna get this truck loaded, head back to the YouTube Yacht Road, spread a little bit more chert, and I'm also gonna ask, super nice and super polite, would you please, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, do me a big favor and hit that like button as well. All right, back to the actual work.
personal hero, Lillian. Oh, hey, Mammy. She brought me out some Buckeyes for a snack. Uh, kids are awesome. Most of the time. All right. I'm hoping with this load and one more load, we can at least get across the culvert. And we got some rain coming in, so I think those are the only two we're going to be able to get. But let's uh, let's see how this goes. <laughs> So we end up sticking with the dump in little piles and bust out the 755. Techniques seem to work really well. Plus I was able to get each load to go just a little bit further as long as I didn't flip the tractor in the ditch. Yo, easy there, killer. Buckets down.
theo đò kìa không? So you can see that little pulverizer complements that 755 perfect. I love using that thing on this kind of project. It's just a very versatile tool. I'm not sure exactly what it was made for, but I love using it. I also love the contrast of this red chert with all the fresh green coming in. That is no filter. That is just nature's beauty looking sharp as ever right there. We have just a little bit left to do at the entrance to, ugh, at the, entrance to this ramp. And then that's going to be it for this one. I had enough time budgeted to haul 10 loads or to haul for one day, which ended up being 10 loads. Got us about 300 feet down the road. So we're about a third of the way down, plus those other random piles you saw in the previous video, if you've seen the previous video. I just want to say thanks for watching, guys. I think the next time we'll be hauling shirt will probably be mid-May. We are making progress, slow but sure, but definitely making progress, and we're excited about that. As always, thanks for watching. Stay positive. Find a reason to smile. Find a reason to laugh. We will catch you guys on the next one.